what will season two be covering manga wise um so we're not going to explicitly say because we do want it to be a little bit of a surprise even for manga readers even if they've read it i think we want it to be a surprise of what we're exactly we're covering so it will just um kind of like be like up to like you'll find out when we post the episodes for the most part we do want to keep that surprise element there even though there's a existing um content for it or on um but if you want you can see what we're working on on the main um youtube because that's where we're going live and i'm drawing and our Haruhi VA is composing music right now, so I'm so excited. I've been it's been amazing to watch this whole project get together. Honestly, yeah, it is amazing. Even on like this end, it's so crazy seeing this project kind of come together and see that there's like other people who are like really passionate and want to work on this project as much as like I'm passionate about this project. Um I think it's so cool that we were able to find the people that we need to make this a reality. And I'm also very surprised that we've been going for as long as we have. <laughs> Two years, baby. Ooh, and well, you've been there since almost the beginning. <laughs> uh, almost. I mean, I certainly had a different role back then. Yeah. I mean, but still there since the beginning. I think you joined in May. You started in April. I think so, yeah. I mean, initially, I think it's either I joined the project and then I was like, oh, I'll just, you know, compose music and then that'll be great. Or I auditioned. But I remember auditioning on the very last day at the very last minute and then auditions were going to close. And I was like, oh, you know, if you don't do this, you're going to regret it. But like, I didn't really expect to get a role. Uh-huh. And I was like, okay, well, if you don't get a role, that's fine. You can make music and then eat like doing that and now here we are. It kinda kinda crazy. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, uh, I remember when we the, the only reason I remember your application so well because I was like, Hey guys, wait, look, they submitted at eleven fifty nine, it's so funny. Like, I was honestly I was debating for days and then I would talk myself out of it. Then I'd be like, ah, no, but you know, you should try. They seem like nice people and legitimate people. And then I'll talk myself out of it. Then I'll talk myself back into it. Um, and then I was like pacing around <laughs> up until 11.59. Uh, How did you feel when you got a call back? That was uh, very surprising, actually. Um, Like, I didn't really know what was going on because i submitted the audition i think you i think you emailed me i think i think i still have this email and i was like hey we want to schedule a callback and i was like oh my gosh i can't believe this is happening but also oh my gosh i don't really know what a callback is <laughs> i was like well, what are they gonna have me do you were all very nice, though. I, I did not have to be as nervous as I was, but I was very, I was very nervous. Excited and nervous. Honestly, uh, I felt like, I was like, okay, whenever the callbacks were like, okay, we need to be as least intimidating as possible, because we were like, oh, like, the worst, the last thing we want to do is scare away these people. <laughs> I remember, I think a lot of people were in my callback. I think it was a normal amount of people, but for me, I was like, oh. This feels like a lot of people. Yeah, it's probably like four people. Because like after that, we would have you guys leave. I think like we did like a multiple Haruhi callbacks that day. So what we would do is schedule like callbacks back to back in like a day. And we'd just like review them or take notes and stuff like that. Yeah, that was back when like we had a lot of people doing callbacks. So we could have like um a good like well-versed opinion before like, everyone got too busy and I would just do all the callbacks by myself. But then you started coming doing them with me, so that's nice. <laughs> yeah. No, I like I like doing I like meeting everyone and I like doing the callbacks from the judgy side. It and was you sound very professional. Through. We're like good cop, bad cop, you know? Except it's like I'm Tomaki and you're Kyoya, you know? So I'm like, oh my god, you sound oh great. And you're like, can you try doing that with like a different like pitch with like the the different inflection of your voice in your throat when you say the p and i'm like oh my god yeah like that totally makes sense 
Well, I was like, I th- I'm pretty sure that's what happened in my callback. Like, we read through the lines. I think it was something about music room three and walking through the halls. And then there, there was another one about mom, of course. And then there was another one probably directed at Tomaki, if we're being real. And then I, I, I think I had to do the lines like multiple times oh, yeah. in the callback. We definitely, um, at least for me, like my my only directions would be like I would have people do it in a bunch of different emotions. That's kind of how I gauge if we could we thought they were a good fit because um we were like okay well if they can take my stage directions for me who like doesn't really know much then they're gonna be fine right. So it would kind of just be like, oh, like, can you do this? Like, even if they sounded amazing already, we'd be like, can you do this? But can you make this last line more excited? Or like, can you like make this more dynamic by like changing the emotion halfway through and stuff like that? And that was not even to like see if like they sounded like the character. Like that was a bonus, but it was also to see if they could take the direction like really well. And it wouldn't have to be done multiple times. That was the whole point of that exercise. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope I can take direction. Ah, too late now, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> if we lose you, we lose your composing and your audio engineering. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have episode one put together. No, I would not give you up. <laughs> You're stuck with me till the end now. <laughs> ah. 